heart rhythm disorders could be on the rise in Singapore in the next few years amid a rapidly aging population. Well, nearly 2% of people here currently have the condition. And to help them get more targeted and safe treatment, one local hospital has introduced a new approach. Chang Feng has led a healthy lifestyle since young. But for the past five years, he's experienced bouts of breathlessness, even when doing simple activities such as climbing up the stairs. After consulting a doctor, Mr Chang had an electrocardiogram or ECG done. It confirmed he had a type of heart rhythm disorder called atrial fibrillation or AF. If left untreated, the condition could lead to serious complications like heart failure. I don't want to take long-term uh, medication as I'm, I think I'm still young, 46 years old, so I don't want to cause any long-term side effect to my other organs like liver and kidney. So therefore I decided to go for this uh, minimum invasive procedure. Current treatment uses thermal energy to create scars in the heart. These scars, made up of the red and white dots here, form a barrier which blocks abnormal signals in the heart. But the downside is that surrounding veins are often damaged as well. Depending on which structure is damaged, uh, the consequences can be pretty dire. So if there is uh, um, damage to the food tube that runs behind the heart, for example, then that can result in what we call an atrioesophageal fistula, where patients can get stroke and uh, infection and bleeding. That's why the National University Heart Centre Singapore has introduced a new technique. It's already being used in Europe and Australia and involves electrical pulses and is more precise. The hospital says trials have shown that damage to surrounding veins has dropped from 3 to 0 percent. It also reduces the procedure time by two hours. NUHCS sees up to 6,000 patients with AF each year, and Dr. Xiao adds this number is set to rise, especially with an aging population in Singapore. Uh, the higher in incidence of AF is also due to the rise in lifestyle diseases like hypertension, diabetes, obesity. The hospital is also sourcing more machines, as it expects more patients to opt for this new approach.